Hey guys, I'm back with another video today, and today I want to show off the uh, Pre Praetorian Fuseler. I still don't know how to say that correctly, but I want to show all Fuselers basically. And um, this hit point is a little bit skewed because I do have a uh, armor blessing, but they do have a lot of health in general. Um, they usually have about 600 ish. Um, so that, I don't know, any, you know, any hit point boost helps. And so. I have, let's see, 132, and it's a lot of fuselers. You see kind of how like, they're just sticking out everywhere. So let's see how many raids we can do with these fuselers. So um, I don't know how it's going to be. I, I, the, the problem is, you know, the garrisons. So um, I'm going to need to take out the garrisons because they're just going to have the troops that can actually take me out. Um, I don't know if I should try this or not. Uh, I don't think I want to try this one right now. Um, I think I would just lose all my troops from the from the get go. Um, that's a little bit too easy. Anyways, this troop is basically just trying to overwhelm your opponent. So this is a guy that doesn't have a lot of resources, but let's see if we can take him out. So he's a level seventy two. He's an enlightenment age also. Um, he does have a general, as you can see right there. Um, so. The things I need to worry about are just the garrisons and the catapults. And so I'm going to use two fingers since I'm using my phone, I can actually just multi-touch and deploy most of my troops. And the problem with these troops, I have they need to really stick together because if they don't, you know, they're they're gonna they're gonna get crushed. They really need to stick together. So I only lost let's see, 20 troops so far? It's actually not bad. I thought I would be losing a lot more. Um, I guess basically I'm just you're just overwhelming your opponent. And so let's see how much I can do. Yeah, the general can't stand a chance against all the fuselers, so. Um, the catapult doing just fine, taking those out. Yeah, the only thing I was really worried about is just the garrisons because, you know, they do like two times damage to my troops, so this is the only thing I really worry about. And besides that, you know, basically it's just you steamroll them, so. Um, there's that one garrison at the end, but uh, they should be fine. Yep. So basically, I lost about. Oh, oh no. Ah, do you guys ever do that when you accidentally have the rally on and then you touch your screen and you you automatically um, basically you put your troops uh, you rally your troops somewhere else by accident? I don't know that happens to me often. So I try to keep my troop uh, my cursor like basically on like my troops so then I don't accidentally do that. I lost about 50 troops. Um, you can split that. Maybe that's like 17 each ish. So. I don't think it's that bad for an alignment age base to be honest because I thought it would be way worse I thought it would just get like you know everything would especially the redoubts you know they do a lot of damage so for the most part that went actually a lot better than I expected it to be I lost 51 so that's 17 times 3 is 51 so 17 each that's not bad at all I think um, I think the the all fuseler uh, all fuseler raid is actually quite you know it works pretty well. It's quite uh, capable of taking out bases. I don't know about the highest level bases, but um, overall it it does the job. Just I mean you lose a little bit more troops than you would like compared to like the all lancer raid, but you know what can you do? Let's see how many crowns I have. I have eight, nineteen. I think I'll just do. Uh, um, let's see. I, I don't usually ever use crowns for anything, actually. But just for you guys, I just wanted to, you know, speed up some of this process so I can show another raid. Let me kind of split up these a little bit more. Okay. And so, let's see how many troops I have. Altogether, I have about 116. That should be enough. Um, okay, so you can actually see the original hit points now since I don't have an armor blessing. And so that's 522. It's actually less than I thought, but still. The armor blessing does help out a lot. Um, let me uh, put a weapon blessing and see how that 
how much damage that does. So I had two, 220 originally, and so I get 264. And so it's quite strong. I'm not as strong as the Japanese, of course, but you know, this troop, this troop combination, I love fuselage because you know they can shoot over the wall. It just that makes things a lot more exciting. Um, huh? This raid. I, I mean, I can beat them. Uh, the problem is just the catapults. I think I should be able to take them out though. So I'm gonna spread up my troops in like three different spots so the catapult doesn't attack all of them. We have four spot over here. Since they can attack over the walls, they basically just destroy these front troops right here. And so that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna need to pull them back together. Uh, like everyone get over here so they can take out the catapult. Oh, come on, guys. Get away from... Don't stack up like that. Take out the catapult. Okay, good. And so, basically, the catapults are the big problems for the fuselers, to be honest. The redoubts, usually they can take them out fast enough. So that's not usually a big problem. I think... Let's see. I need a rally, so I need to rally them back together. Probably a good spot is over here. Um, so they can rally back up to take out take down the wall and then yep for the most part this is going well uh, may I, lo I lost a little bit more troops than I would like um, but it's okay then it's just to show off the all I like showing off all raids you know just like different troop strategies you know they all just using all of one troop composition which is interesting um, I actually might lose this one I think they can take out this garrison over here, and that, and that castle. That's that's the big problem. Oh, yep. Okay, I basically lost this. Um, I don't know. I have eight fusers left. I wonder if they can take this castle out. But they keep trying to, you know, they attack anything. So I can't can't really guide them until I have a rally. Problem is, all those garrison troops are kind of coming up really soon so I did, at least I did um I did four star it I mean so that's not bad I have one minute left yep I can't stand up to the garrison troops plus the castle so that's okay I think that was a good raid overall I mean I didn't get that much loot you know but I did enjoy using a lot of fuselers that's uh I think it's a legitimate strategy it definitely does you know a lot of damage um you can take out a lot of a lot of bases with all just all fuse litters, um, or just all infantry troops. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and let me know what you guys want to really see, because I'll try to do it if possible. I'm going to try to keep making more videos as soon as possible, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.